Do you think it's possible to get out of debt, including your mortgage, on your current income? No. No. Because <laughs> I think debt is a, is a uh, monkey on your back. Well, Gary, it's obvious that most people have accepted debt as a way of life. Yep. They're just going to live in debt their whole life, you know, and die. <laughs> so, That's how it is. People, yeah. we talk to all the time. It's like, I have a 30-year mortgage, and it's going to, you know, take 30 years to pay it off. And a lot of times people keep upgrading their home and just keep the debts. Keep yeah, people up. just keep the debt. You know, Adrena, we've been in uh, business for a long time helping people get out of debt, and it's epidemic in America. In fact, this yes. stat is amazing. According to the Columbus Dispatch, so it's our hometown paper, the article said that 23% of the Americans can't even pay their minimum credit card payment each month. Oh, that's a quarter. That's a quarter of the population. Wow. And then the other, another 49% cannot pay last month's purchases off. Oh, that's 50. So we're right so, at a quarter and then half of them. So wow. that means that we're escalating our debt load mm. pretty quick as a population. Yes. And so people are, are hopeless. The Bible says, according to Proverbs chapter 22, verse number 7, that the rich rule over the poor and the borrower becomes a slave to the lender. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think slavery is fun. Mm -hmm. And, you know, slaves have no choice. And I remember the Lord called us back, oh, when he spoke to us about our business and going into the ministry, he made a very clear point that he does not like his people living in that kind of bondage mm -hmm. and that he wants them free. Yes. I don't know, but I think it's time for the slavery to stop. I totally agree. So, You've been declaring this message for 20 years, and we've seen financial calamities happen in our nation yes. and across the yeah. world. Those things aren't going to stop, so people no. need to get their own personal house in order. Yeah. There's two sides to debt. Another, uh, debt's kind of a spiritual issue. Uh, as well as a natural issue. And so get your pencil and paper out through this show uh, because we're going to talk about some things. But the first thing we need to understand is that God's kingdom, His laws, have answers in it regarding finances. Yes. We're not going to focus so much on those today in this program. Uh, we're going to aim at more the natural side because you need both the spiritual and the natural. We have a lot of material at our website on the spiritual laws, and you need both. You have to have the kingdom to get out of debt. But you need also to understand how this thing works in the natural. So I have here a stack of credit card offers <laughs> that come in the mail. You might have some of these as well. They come every day to our mailbox. And, you know, you'll see several in this stack that are the same one, same bank. And they keep sending them. Week after week. Week after week, <laughs> month after month. And you, you wonder, why would they send this? I did not respond to it last week. Why would they send it again and waste the money? Mm -hmm. What do you think the answer is? They're waiting on you to need their <laughs> offer. <laughs> They're patiently a waiting. Week or a week that you decide you want a vacation or there's something you want to buy. Right. You know, That's it's, right. They're fishing. Yes, they are. And it's all aimed at getting your money. So why do they send these out? Well, if you'll get a piece of paper, write this down, you're going to amaze your friends or you can Facebook these stats because no one knows this or they wouldn't be doing or playing the game. So let's take a look at this. First off, to get out of debt, you must realize that someone wants you in debt. That's mm -hmm. the first thing to understand. And so I have some stats here. I'm going to go through real quick with, with this. Six billion credit card offers are mailed out a year in the U.S. Six billion are mailed wow. out. That's a lot. Wow. And basically, if you have a credit card and make the minimum payment, it's going to take you 22 years to pay that off. Mm. You know, by then, that, that uh, new sports jacket's pretty old. <laughs> right, absolutely. You know, people absolutely. buy Every, all this stuff. Yeah, you think you're going to get a sale, a deal. Right. And really, when you pay the interest on it, it was not a deal at all. That's right. Use a credit card. In, in fact, most uh, department stores make more money off their department store card than off retail. I mean, have you ever thought, why do department stores have their own department store card. I mean, everyone already has right. a visa. And they'll even offer you 15% off today's purchase if you'll use their store credit That's card. That's right. They want something. Right. What right. do they want? Let's find out. All right. Let's assume that you have $1,000. So write that on a piece of paper. $1,000. That's it. That's all you have. And you're 20 years of age and you're going to deposit the money and leave it to age 70. So that's 50 years. Okay. You got that in your mind? $1, 50 $1. years, just one time, $1,000 at 5% would grow to $12,000, and you know, $12,000.
But what about 18%? Do you think there's any credit cards that charge 18%? Absolutely, most all of them and more. Okay, that same $1,000, just one time, age 20, leave it alone, to age 70, grows to $6 million. Whoa. That's called compound interest. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is. Wow. They, they say compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world, you know, because how it works. So we're talking millions of dollars, and well, it, it gets worse. What about a department store card? They're not 18%, are they? 24, 28. 20, 21, 22, 24. Right. So assuming a 24% department store card, uh, that same $1,000, Drenda, grows to $97 million. Whoa. Whoa. So now when you're at the cash million. register and they go, is this cash or charge? You know, would you like to have 15% off today's purchase? What's the motivation behind that? They're looking for that 21% interest. Yeah, it's not, it's not like, hey, you know, we're, we're your buddy. We're going to, you know, wow. just help you and we're going to help you get the stuff wow. you need. It's like they're thinking, they're knowing what's behind the scenes, millions. Huge. Now, are there other lenders that charge more than 24 percent. Sure. sure, finance companies. And we know from personal experience, <laughs> yes. we had several of those loans back in the day when we were the poster kids. Yes, for the not, first years of our marriage. Not what to do with money. And you right? think, wow, they're giving me money to spend. <laughs> I can buy something nice. Yeah, they approved and, the loan. Awesome. Let's yeah. rejoice. Let's praise God for 28 that. 28 percent interest. Uh, 28 percent interest. Well, that same one thousand dollars, <laughs> one time, one time. Get that. Write that. One time. One thousand for fifty years. Just leave it to your seventy. If you could find a place to invest at 28, which apparently they did. Right, in us. <laughs> yeah, in us. That $1,000 grows to $1,048,000,000. No, no. Are you sure? A billion dollars. So you're telling me that most yes. people, the money that goes through their hands in their lifetime would equal a billion dollars, at least millions of dollars, if they weren't giving it away to creditors. We'll, we'll talk about that. Now, you, you would not find a place to invest at 28%. I mean, there's mm. obviously business ventures and things. You, you know, there, there's a risk involved at that kind of rate. But that's just 1,000. Mm. Okay, so these companies, how many thousands, 1,000s do they have? I mean, over 50 years, you're talking about a billion dollars. Someone knows something you don't know. And that's why we're here today telling you the power of money is astonishing how it grows. Now let's break it down what you said. I got to hurry along here. Uh, you've heard this said many times, for just the price of a cup of coffee a day. You ever heard that on advertisements? They're, they're trying to infer this little $5 a month fee, you know, is no big deal. You just sign up for this little program. It's $5 a month. People right. go, eh, no, it's five bucks. Right. Okay, let's take the same, same period of time. 50 years, $5 a month, all right? So for $5 a month for 50 years at 18%, $2.5 million. Whoa. <laughs> $5 becomes $2.5 million. At, wow. Yeah. Now let's take $1, okay? $1 a month, just $1 a month at 18% for that same 50-year period of time, 505000 Wow. How many people throw away money? Just, yes. Okay, how about if you found a place like the finance company rate, 28%, $1 a month at 28% grows over that same age 20 to age 70 period of time to $44 million. So $1 today, dollar 50 a years month. from now, it's going to be that much more. If you wow. could find 28%. Right. But they obviously are, they people. have devised yes. a system to find a place to invest $1 at 28%. Okay, what are they playing on? How is it that we as Americans will give them our thousand, give them our five dollars, uh, and we, people we need treat money. it like it's no big deal. It's just five dollars. Well, obviously, only people that pay 28% have bad credit. But we do it oftentimes too because they, they entice us to want something that well, we don't we don't want to wait for. Yes, you, you hit it on the nail. <laughs> Go into any retail store, 90 days, same as cash, is a finance company not a bank, a finance company of 24 to 28% rate if you don't pay it off in 90 days. I always say, what kind of deception is occurring in your brain to think that you can pay for it in 90 days when you can't pay for it today? today. <laughs> yeah. They still make it. Wait 90 days, pay cash for it, and forget it. You know, don't, right. don't fall into the trap. I always like what you used to say to me, they still make them. They still because make it. Because in that moment when you impulsively want to buy this thing, yeah. you think, oh, no, I've got to have it. It's a discount. Or I get 15% off today. And if you don't have the cash right. today, like you said, it's in 90 days, you're not going to have it probably That's right. because of that mindset. Right. That it, mindset yes, is yes. going to keep 
you constantly think in that yeah, way. Yeah, so what we're trying to say to you today is this, that you can see a very small fragment of money can produce a very large result.